What's up, YouTube? This is DBZ49 bringing you a really fun deck known as Red Eyes. Um, really expensive deck, but um, it's really fun and it's kind of hard to play, but I feel like I made the best build possible. Um, pretty much all you do is just rank 7 spam and you just special summon Red Eyes like no other. And I'd like to show you my build, so without any further ado, let's get on to the deck. Alright, so f let me put this down here. Uh, first we run, obviously, triple the Blackstone Legend, uh, helps you, um, bring out Red Eyes from your deck, and you, if it's in your graveyard, you can return one Red Eyes from your graveyard to your deck and return this to your hand, however, you can only use one of these effects per turn. So that's pretty good. Um, next you want run one Red MD, obviously, just brings back, um, Dragon Monsters or whatnot. Then I tech in the one dad. Um, you have a lot of graveyard control and you have a lot of dark monsters. However, it's kind of bad because you banish your own uh, like red eyes uh, monsters from your grave that you kind of need. But I mean, in desperate situations, he's actually really good and he's level seven on top of that. So that's pretty busted. Next, you run three uh, red eyes black flare dragon. I'm thinking about cutting him down to one and or two and replace it with red eyes wyvern so I can run. Uh, rank 4 plays uh, and it gets kind of cloggy but yeah so next you run triple red eyes black dragon obviously next you run double summon skull I don't run the other archfiend card um, because uh, you can only use red eyes fusion using this card from the deck and that other card's not even that great so so yeah and he's a normal monster which I'll get into uh, next you run triple uh, black metal dragon. Um, I see people run one, two, and barely see three. I really like three because I like the power boost and the search, and it helps beat the deck, so that's really good. And he's really good, like, if you just normal summon him, you can banish with using red MD, so that's pretty good. And um, dad effect and grave, he's a good target to banish. Uh, one keeper of the shrine. Um, he just he, he just special summons himself in the grave every time a dragon monster is dead. Uh, he's used for two dragon tributes, and um, he's level four, so it's really, really strong. I'd probably run two if I had space in the deck, but for the last of the monsters, run one Kinkabu, really busted card, helps you bring out your um, either Black Metal Dragons or Black Snow Legends, and you just make plays off of that, and he just comes back, and you just keep spamming that. And you don't really normal summon that much, so, I mean, he's probably, like, your only normal summon. So yeah, that's it for the monsters. Next for the spells, you run double MST. In order to go off, you have to um, destroy your opponent's back row and whatnot. Uh, next, you run double double shrine. Um, dragon shrine. Uh, so it helps you dump your red eyes and another card. Usually, I dump keeper of the shrine or an extra red eyes monster, depending on the situation. Uh, double silver's cry to bring back your red eyes. Uh, double Red Eyes Fusion, absolutely busted card. Um, you can fuse from the deck uh, for a uh, Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Um, however, you can't normal summon or set the turn you activate this card. Or actually even special summon any other monsters. I think you can set monsters, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So you just pretty much bring out this guy right here. Uh, next you run double uh, Cards of the Redstone. So I see people run three, even run one actually, but I think two is the sweet number. Three gets cloggy. Um, I think two is like really good. Next you run one Dragon's Mirror. Um, really, really good card. It helps you bring out five headed dragon to go for game or first of the dragons, and those two cards are really good. Um, it helps you. It, there are some situations where you're not gonna have um like red eyes black dragon plays or whatever, so you just have to use this card. Uh, to go off and next you run one one for one helps bring back uh bring out the uh, black sun legend and one soul charge to bring back your monsters and make rank seven spams and then last for the spells you run one regeki okay so next for the traps small lineup uh, you run triple return of the red eyes really good card it's like a call of the haunted but during either player's turn and you can activate multiple of them during either player's turn so that's really good and if, it, if your opponent destroys this card uh, you get to supposed to summon a red eyes monster from your graveyard, so that's really that, that it helps you rake seven spam, and um, you can also get back summon skull with it, which is really cool. Uh, next, you get two call the haunteds uh, to revive your red eyes or whatnot. Double Phoenix chain because it's the best trap card in the game, and one torrential. All right, for the side deck, real quick, I'm just gonna breeze through this. You run flying sea, retaliating sea. 
uh, XZ spam decks like Infernoids, I guess. Double Maxi, obvious reasons. Effect Veiler, uh, Effect Negation, one MST. Um, because I don't run Fairy Winds because I have a lot of continuous trap cards that I want to run. So I don't think Fairy Winds is really good. And this build in particular. Then you run Double Mirror Force, Double Mind Crush, Double Line Prisoning. Uh, Tellers are probably one of the best decks now. So this card's actually like really good. And next you run Double Imperial Iron Wall. You'd never banish. Except for Dad Effect, but and Red MD, but eh. if there if there's decks that banish a lot, I mean you have you have to run that card. Uh, next you run Double uh, Archstream Black Skull Dragon, really good card. It's Armades, and if it deals damage or attacks a monster, I think um, you can return a Red Eyes monster from your deck or from your graveyard to your deck and inflict twenty and inflict that uh, amount of attack points to your opponent. So like. If he attacks directly for 32, and then you return Red Eyes Black Dragon from your graveyard to your deck, that's another 2,400, so that's like 5,600 life points right there. That's really busted. And then I run one Black Skull Dragon, um, really just for fun. Uh, next, you run 500 Dragon for the Dragon's Mirror and First of the Dragons, which is really good against a lot of decks, especially like Mermels, or decks that don't even run back row, basically. Next, you run Odd Eyes. Um, just really cool card. And... Double black uh, red eyes flare metal dragon. Um, I see people run three. I've never ever uh made a third one, so that's why I took out the third copy, and uh, really busted. Uh, helps bring back red eyes from the grave if you detach material as long as it has a material on him. Uh, every time your opponent activates a card effect, they take five hundred. So, uh, really good burn card. Then you have Master of Blades, Draco Sack, Big Eye. And Exabeetle, um, really, I've never went into him. Is this the only way you can go into him is with um, Summon Skulls. Next, you're on Castell 101. Um, I really don't... I, I just had extra space, and uh, if I do run the Red-Eyes Wyvern, uh, you can go into these two guys. And last, Ghost Rick Doolahan. Um, pretty much, you can just go, like, King of Bu and something, and he's just a Gale. I don't know. I, I feel like he's one of, one of the better rank 1 generics. So thank you, YouTube, for watching. Uh, please click the subscribe and like button and share. If you have any opinions, please post in the comment below. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.